L'agroécologie apparaît en Agroecology made its first appearance in 1928. An American researcher worked on maize selection. He was called Benson. He defended the idea that plants should be selected not because of their maximum production potential, as was the case at the time, but their capacity to adapt to local conditions whereby cultivated varieties uh, are easier to cultivate for local farmers in local conditions at a lesser price uh, requiring less fertilizers etc adaptation therefore becomes a first aim for agroecology talking about adaptation means that there is an ecologic approach. The term agroecology then disappears from the scientific horizon for about 50 years and appears again in the 70s in Latin America. At the time, the question asked is about the fact that the uh, model suggested by the United Nations and local organizations, that of Green Revolution, seems to be non not adapted to local conditions. Mechanization, improved varieties, fertilizers and pesticides are the models suggested by the United Nations. And local Latin American researchers find that this model is not appropriate, not adapted for local farmers who do not have the necessary funds to have access to tractors or fertilizers. In order to uh, fight against the uh, green revolution model, they come up with a different pattern, that of agroecology, trying to encourage autonomy, economic autonomy for local farmers so that they don't need to go outside to find resources, an autonomy based on an ecological perspective of their integration in the living world that surrounds them, the ecosystem they live in. Agroecology is an ecosystemic approach, the object of which will be the agroecosystem, the ecosystem transformed by man in order to meet his needs. In order to reach a satisfactory production level, what is it that we need to do in the uh, agroecology perspective? Well, it is necessary necessary to protect resources, soil, air, water, land, biodiversity, domestic biodiversity, agrobiodiversity, that is. But this means that uh, one needs to close the cycle, the energy cycle, for instance, so that as little energy is necessary from the outside. Outside resources are no longer needed or not very much. It means we have to encourage the uh, interactions between the living components of the ecosystem so that the ecosystem becomes stable on the long term, but resilient at the same time, promoting the immune system, quote unquote, of the uh, agroecosystem with all the components contributing to the stability. Ecological principles are quite different from what was uh, supported by the uh, university agronomy of the time for three reasons. Agronomy says we must produce the maximum quantity at all costs and we go and get outside what we need. Agroecology says no, we need to be autonomous. Agronomy, university agronomy says we should only be interested in production. Agroecology says no. We should also be interested by local farmers, society, and all the values they carry and they want to defend. Therefore, we have an obvious contradiction between a world based on in almost industrial production, even though it's agriculture we're talking about, and a world which is uh, centered on local farmers' society. This remains the case until the mid-20th century, and agroecology then becomes the uh, technical framework for farmers' uh, movements trying to defend agriculture in third world countries, developing countries, Latin America, Southeast Asia, and India. Farmers are defended against industrial agriculture. In the two years 2000, Scientific work, which claimed to be agroecology, seems to uh, seem to uh, develop very, very quickly. 
And people who belong to the standard model move over and uh, adhere to agroecology. Why? Well, because people are becoming aware of the negative impact of some forms of intensive agriculture on their environment. We're all familiar with the green algae, uh, nitrate pollution in uh, sweet water, and also the fact that in the society, people are starting to be worried about the sanitary effect of intensive agriculture. Are intensively cultivated agricultural products good for our health? And finally, we have reached a stage in the development of uh, our ecology whereby we can think in terms of uh, ecosystemic services uh, made available for pro agricultural production, which is something we were not able to do 20 or 30 years ago based on scientific knowledge at the time. We here have a mix between scientific progress and a form of social pressure explaining why we are moving from standard agronomy to agroecology. But, however, can we say that the uh, thoughts have become unified? Absolutely not. A university agro agronomy uh, sponsored by uh, research institutes and some large uh, agriculture companies is the conventional technology solution for problems uh, pertaining to agricultural production. But what we're trying to do is to substitute to uh, chemical production factors, agro-systemic uh, elements which are trying to improve the functioning of agriculture, a wise use of the uh, production factors. Agroecology could be connected with sciences and the social societal movement, and it could be an interdisciplinary approach of the agricultural issue. And at the same time, it could address the problem of food production based on agricultural production, but also thinking about our consumption habits.